Weapon X and Ken Hell, your mates. <laughs> well, I never met him, you know. I never met him. I just remember because I started catching on to Australian rap around 01. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I heard, I remember hearing Soul of the Beat by The Hoods. Yeah. And I remember seeing Delta Freestyle at a craze gig. Yeah. Referring to the 720 bus and the crowd's going nuts. And I'm like, who's this dude? This dude's dope. Um, I and see then Delta think, on the 720 bus. I'll be at the, you know, the interchange. Yeah, yeah, Ranella interchange. No, nah, no, nah, the one um, uh, where the hospital is. Oh, no longer interchange. No, nah, no nah, longer the Flinders. Oh, Flinders, yeah, 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 Flinders Medical Center. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you have the buses and everything go there. I see Delta on the back of the sweat 720, like, waving. <laughs> I'll be sitting there waiting for the 218 back up to the hub. Yeah, I used to roll on the 218 at some point as well. Yeah. Shit. Um, 218, hey, I pass all that <laughs> shit, man, hey. So a few years later, I started noticing that the whole American accent was coming in at that time. You know, you had, um, I think, Jay West, yeah. who was more of an R&B singer, I think. Yeah. You had Weapon X and Ken Hell. You had a few cats that were sort of dabbling in that. And yeah, you. I think you and Weapon X, you guys had a bit of an incident. A little bit of an incident. T tell us tell us about that. Oh, that's it's a long story, but we got I'll, time. I'll give you the I'll give you the shortened version. Now, nah, basically it was the short short version was um him interrupting an argument I was having with someone else. And then um yeah, he just staunched up. I don't know, this is that sugar. Um, yeah, I was having an argument with someone. It was not an argument, it was a discussion. Do you know what I mean? And he came in like, oh, he's my mate. I'm like, this is nothing to do with you, man. Hey, just go back over there. And he's like, nah, he's my mate. I'll stand here and I'll, I'll go up. I'm just, I'm talking to him. He's like, it got a little bit heated. Do you know what I mean? We all had. A, this is after the some battle that what's the not the battle for supremacy. Yeah, after the the Adelaide. Oh, the heats. Yeah, in Adelaide. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I was having an, a bit of an argument with a dude that ran that. Do you know what I mean? And um, yeah, and that's when Weapon X sort of came up and started fucking. Doing these ones, and it wasn't it wasn't supposed to be like that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And then, yeah, one thing led to another, and then all just hell broke loose and fucking. Now, did you know him at this point? Yeah, I'd met him a few times. You know, we weren't mates because I don't know. We just he, he was a nice guy. He wasn't he wasn't a bad dude. We weren't mates or anything like that. We just associates. We just knew each other like this, like the scene. Do you know what I mean? And um, I think just alcohol and ego and did yeah. him have it? Did him rapping with an American accent have anything to do with the way you felt towards him? Oh, a little, little bit, <laughs> but not much. But not it's not why I fucking why we like, ended up fighting or whatever. It was because he tried to staunch over you. Yeah, he just he got into. If dudes are going, if someone's having an argument already and we come over and it's like, ah, oh, it's not your argument. I'm like, ah, oh, see it. <laughs> Fucking, you take the advice, man. Do you know what I mean? Or you get, end up getting stomped into the fucking bar. Did you come out on top? Yeah. A little bit. A <laughs> little bit? A little bit. <laughs> Had pressure holding me back. Like this. With my arms back, pulling me away. Thanks, pressure. And then yeah. that was the end of it? Nothing ever came of that? Nah, and then that was the end. But then this is all, um, and then I went, this is that battle supremacy thing. So the actual argument was, I said to the dude that was running out, I was like, oh, I'm coming over to um, uh, Melbourne to see the finals. Because I love that. I love watching the battle shit, you know what I mean? And I'm like, am I able to get, 
hooked up on the door or whatever because I'd been on the one previous, done shit. I was terrible. Fucking, we had the our launch the night before, so I'd stayed up all night um, and flown to Melbourne and just done terrible. But that's another story. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I asked the dude for, can I get a couple of tickets? Because I didn't, from the first one, I didn't get nothing, man. I paid for my own flight there, fucking, um, and it got sold out. DVDs got pressed up. I didn't get a DVD, didn't get nothing, man. And I was like, can I get a couple of tickets so I can go and watch it? And he was like, nah. And I'm like, nah. I go, what about the like the first one? We, I paid for my own to get over there. The thing sold out, man. It was on... We had fucking all big sponsors, and it was a huge show, man. And I'm like, nah. I guess nah. I was like, how does that make sense, dude? Like, fucking, and that's where the argument started. And that's when um, Weapon X jumped in. That's when Weapon X got knocked down. And then still, I still had my flights booked for this show. And I was like, fuck it, because this is the next weekend, do you know what I mean? And I'd, so I'd have had this fight, and it all spilled out into the street. Then, fucking, yeah. Rundle Street was, like, chaotic, man. There's dudes fighting everywhere. It was, it was pretty nuts. Um, so I already had my tickets booked, and I'm like, all right, so I'm flying to Melbourne. So I go to Melbourne, and... Um, Another dude I knew that had done stuff for that Chopper Reed thing, he had tickets, and he goes, do you want, do you want a couple of tickets? And I'm like, yeah, fucking no. And so fucking, I rocked up to this show with another little Asian mate of mine, Robbie. It was just us two, man. And it was their show in Melbourne, in their thing, do you know what I mean? And I rocked up by myself. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gone, man. Hey. Even though that shit happened last week with, and then I'd said to the dude that ran the whole thing, I... I drilled him, like, just fucking in an argument on Rundle Street here as well after the fight and everything. Yeah, we ended up rocking up. It's just me and him. And I'm like, we're in enemy territories <laughs> right now, man. I'm like, fucking buy yourself. Like, we bought these Jim Bean bottles. And I'm like, don't throw the bottles away just in case. Just keep it near you. Like, we're sort of standing there. And I thought shit was going to fucking go down. Cause I'm at their show in their state, standing like where they can see me, and nothing there. They didn't leave the stage. They just sort of um, got on the mic and go, "Oh, to anybody that's come here to start trouble, we don't want trouble." <laughs> you know what I mean? And I was like, "What the fuck, man? I'm in your state. I'm in your show. Fucking, you should have like twenty dudes here, just fucking." Pole driving me into the fucking floor, man. But nothing happened. And then Solomon rocked up with about 20 Kiwis. And, um, yeah, we just ended up drinking with them. Then we went out and there yeah, later on, and that was the end of the show. Nothing happened. So. The, 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 the last one. Oh, yeah.